Speaking of other big events that are coming up for WWE, the greatest Royal Rumble is going to take place in Saudi Arabia featuring, it'll be a 50-person Royal Rumble. And this was announced a little under the radar. And it was sort of assumed that much like the shows in Abu Dhabi and India last year, that these would just be like a house show. And it wouldn't tie into WWE storylines. And it, it, it wouldn't... It's just a one-off show that you're not going to hear about on the next episode of Monday Night Raw or SmackDown. According to Roman Reigns, that's not what is going to be the deal for this match. Let me just see when this... Uh, the Greatest Royal Rumble... I think it's April 27th, so it's not long after WrestleMania. And so Roman Reigns recently announced, I believe he was on the Sam Roberts podcast. Uh, yeah, so it's April 27th is the Greatest Royal Rumble. And Roman Reigns said on a podcast that this is going to air on the WWE Network. This isn't going to be like like the show in, in Abu Dhabi or India where you never really get to see it. And it, it's just more for the fans in, in at, at the event. According to Reigns, that's not what this is going to be. So just a few weeks after WrestleMania on April 27th, it's going to air on the WWE Network from Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. And... 50-person Battle Royal or Royal Rumble. The only four entrants confirmed so far are AJ Styles, John Cena, Triple H, and Roman Reigns. Now, this is part of some deal WWE has signed with Saudi Arabia. It's not like the government of Saudi Arabia. Um, it's part of Saudi Vision 2030, which is Saudi Arabia's social, social and economic reform platform. Uh, or a reform program, which is a 10-year 10, 10 strategic multi-platform partnership between WWE and the Saudi General Sports Authority. So a 10-year agreement between WWE has signed to bring WWE content to the region. Uh, we also, we had put up a story about this earlier in the week as well. A Qatar Pro Wrestling, which has held events in, um, in Qatar is a very small but oil rich country which is also going to host the world cup at some point um they have now opened qatar pro wrestling has opened the first pro wrestling school in the gulf region and um wwe has been rumored as to wanting to open a second developmental territory in the middle east the Abu Dhabi shows last year did uh, amazing. They they had such strong ticket sales. They'd only planned to do one show in Abu, Abu Dhabi, but the ticket sales were so strong that they ended up adding a second show. And because the ticket sales in India, where they were going next on the tour, were not as good, they canceled the show in India and added a second date in Abu Dhabi the night after their first date in the same arena. So lots of excitement about WWE in the Middle East right now. And WWE is looking to tap into that. Um, now they spent a lot of money and a lot of time um, trying to build Jinder Mahal as an Indian superstar in India last year. And it didn't, it didn't really work, but they have noticed that they do have a lot of fans there. And so now adding a huge event, the biggest Royal Rumble ever to take place in the 30-year history of the match is going to take place just uh, um, 18 days after WrestleMania. So how that's going to play into WWE storyline, does the winner get a title match? You got to give the winner a title match, right? So... The Greatest Royal Rumble. Now, we're not hearing a lot about it on WWE television right now. Uh, they have mentioned it, but it hasn't been brought up a lot. 
not expecting that it's going to be... The, I mean, the big event is WrestleMania, right? You don't want to give the fans anything uh, else to look forward to. Everything's WrestleMania right now. The second WrestleMania is over, I think we're, we're going to see people talking about this event. This is going to be... If it's, if it's on the network, then it's got to be acknowledged as a huge deal. And Roman Reigns is saying it's going to be on the network. So this is going to be a big deal. Or it's going to turn out that Roman Reigns doesn't know what he was talking about. It's one of those two things. It's either a huge deal or Roman Reigns sometimes says things without knowing what he's talking about. Those are the two possibilities here. Nothing else. All right. So that's the greatest Royal Rumble, April 27th. 2018 from Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. From the King Abdullah Sports City in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. April 27th, the greatest Royal Rumble. 